And I like to write down what we're given and what we need. Okay, so let's write down what we're given. So given, so given. And then here we're gonna write down what we need. If you can write down, I made this up, this is just how I do them, and I'm able to do them all this way. So if you write down what you're given and what you need, um, you can get the answer. So let's read it again. So a spherical balloon is inflated with gas at a rate of 500 cubic centimeters per minute. How fast is the radius changing at the instant the radius is 70? Okay, so we're given the first sentence. So it's inflated with gas at a rate of 500, let me just put 500, 500 cubic centimeters per minute. So that's a rate of change, so that's a derivative. But what is that the rate of change of? Anyone know? There's a key word that it tells us what it is. How do you know it's volume? Beautiful. I mean, hear what Josh said? That's key. So you know that this is dv dt because it says cubic. Cubic is volume, right? Squared is area, okay? So because it says cubic, you know this is volume. And then it's a rate, it's per minute, so it's a derivative. So this is the rate of change of the volume. So we're given dv dt equals 500. It's not always the case, right? There's different variations of this problem. But that's, that's this one in particular. So, so that's, that's what we're given. Good, Josh. So you don't have to put the units at 500? No, don't worry about it. I'll let it. I don't care. Yeah, I know some, some physics teachers require it, right? Like, yeah, I know in physics they like, I'll oh, put the units in every step. No, no, we're not going to do that. No, You can. I don't know. <laughs> we need, so how fast is the radius changing? So that's the rate of change of the radius, right? What would that be called in math terms? Like, what is that? The rate of change of the radius. What is it? dr dt, dr dt. So we need dr dt. And here's where it gets interesting. We need it at the instant the radius is 70 centimeters. So we need it when r equals 70. So they have that line. That's that line we were talking about earlier. Hey, Ethan. What's up? Welcome back. That's good. <clears throat> so. We read the question, and again, the cubic tells us that, you know, I'll just say it again because Ian walked in. So because it says cubic, that's how we know it's volume. And it says rate, so it's the change of volume, so it's dv dt. Okay. That was the key, no, it's important. And the radius changing, that's dr dt, and we want that when r is 70. Okay, any questions on what we're given and what we need? Okay, now, now, now it's easy. Now all we have to do is differentiate this. So I'm gonna write it down again over here. So V is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Whoops, whoops, pi, pi r cubed. So we're gonna take the derivative of this with respect to T, right? Because we're looking for uh, dr dt. So taking the derivative on the left-hand side will give us just dv dt. So this will be dv dt over here, so dv dt. So that's dv dt. 4 thirds pi is a constant, it hangs out, okay? So what you do is you put the three in the front, so it will cancel. So you'll get three times four thirds pi r squared times, anyone know? What would go here? So, dr dt, oh my god, I can't believe you someone new. Good, dr dt, that's the chain rule, right? The derivative of the inside, very good, Selena. So you put the three in the front, you get r squared times the derivative of the inside, so dr dt. Chain rule. Any questions on that step? That's like really key. We're almost done. We're almost done. So typically you have an equation. In this problem, this was a sphere problem, so we had a sphere. Sometimes you have area, sometimes you have the Pythagorean theorem. You have different things, right? The sphere one, though, I'll give you, because that's, you know, why not? We're looking for dr dt, so now we can plug some stuff in. Let's go ahead and plug this in. So we have 500 equals 4 pi r squared dr dt. And then you can divide by 4 pi r squared, so we get dr dt equals um, 500 over 4 pi r squared. So, by the way, this is why it's called related rates, 
right, you have the rate of change of volume related to the rate of change of radius, of the radius, and they're, they're related by this equation. So you have two related rates of change, right? So the rate of change of the volume is equal to 4 pi r squared times the rate of change of the radius. So you have related rates of change. So it's a classic calc 1, related rates. Most people think this is extremely difficult. We're almost done, right? The last thing to do is plug in 70. So notice I didn't plug it in over here because I wanted to wait to the very end so I could use that notation so I can show you. So now at the very end, you do this, then you do this. It's really important, this notation here. Otherwise, it's wrong. If, like, you don't, if you don't tell the reader you're plugging it in and just plug it in, it's, it's a little bit sloppy. So this is 500. 4 pi 70 squared and thankfully we have calculators <sighs> this is really really big or small or something 4 times pi times 70 squared does the homework have any specific units it wants like decimals oh it doesn't say in the homework it doesn't say I got uh, point zero, zero, eight, eight one two, eight one two, and these units in this problem in the homework it's different. This is the rate of change of the radius, so this is centimeters per minute in this problem. In the homework, it's oh, it's centimeters per minute. <laughs> okay, yeah. 